A tidal disruption event is when a star wanders too close to a giant black hole and gets ripped apart by tidal forces. Astronomers have just caught a glimpse of such a star being spaghettified as a colossal black hole rips it apart. Millions of stars die each year in the observable universe. Most of them die of natural causes. Some explode their external shells while some cool down because of a lack of fuel. Some go out in a supernova fashion, but others get torn into slim filaments by a supermassive black hole. And this is what we're going to talk about in this video. It's been a while now since astronomers have seen bursts of electromagnetic radiation emanating from black holes, and they believe those bursts are coming from stars being torn apart. But until now, we haven't been able to directly observe a star being shredded to pieces by a black hole. Now, a group of astronomers, including lead author Giacomo Canizzaro and Peter Jonker from Swan Radbound University, has for the first time observed spectral absorption lines while looking at one of the poles of a black hole. Absorption lines are usually dark lines detected in the otherwise continuous spectrum of electromagnetic radiation emitted by a source, in this case, a black hole. Usually, absorption lines can only be seen when we look at the equator of the black hole, which is the line along which the black hole spins and where a flow of material called an accretion disk orbits. But seeing absorption lines at one of the poles led astronomers to conclude that they were looking at long strands of a spaghettified star wrapped many times all around the black hole like a yarn ball. The researchers said in the statement that the reason they knew they were facing the black hole's pole was because they could detect X-rays. The accretion disk is the only part of a black hole system that emits this type of radiation. If astronomers were observing the black hole edge on, they wouldn't be able to see the accretion disk's X-rays. So the story goes like this. About 750 million light years from Earth, a star got too close to a giant black hole weighing 300 million times the mass of our Sun. As the black hole drew the star closer, its gravity produced strong tidal forces, stretching the star out into a long noodle shape, thus producing a strong bright flash of optical light, X-rays, and radio waves that telescopes on Earth detected. Previously, the only evidence of such a situation where a star was ensnared by the black hole's gravity and devoured came in the form of short bursts of electromagnetic radiation that astronomers occasionally observed emanating from supermassive black holes. The British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees coined the term spaghettification. Spaghettification happens because of the sharp increase in gravity that an object experiences as it nears a black hole. If you jumped into a black hole feet first, the gravitational force on your toes would be much stronger than that pulling on your head. And as you accelerate toward the black hole, gravity would stretch you so much you'd be spaghettified. The same scenario happens with stars. They get torn into slim filaments by the black hole. The gravity of the black hole pulls one side of the star so much harder that it rips it apart. The outer atmospheric layers of the star are the first to be stripped, circling the black hole to form the tight yarn ball the researchers observed. Once a star undergoes a spaghetti strand, it falls further into the black hole, emitting a short burst of radiation. According to data, only 1% of the star ever gets swallowed by the black hole. The researchers published their study on March 24th in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, for which you can find a link in the description below.